Hey guys, we're going to be looking at the mail merge feature in Microsoft Word today. And I'm going to show you like a few different things and different ways and um, yeah, just work with me here, okay? So here we have a celebrity dash, make a dash for the cash, uh, a fake marathon I made up, okay? It's a cool picture. And we're going to create a, a mail merge using this document. Now you can see here that I have a standardized letter. And you're thinking like, well, what, what is this? What is a mail merge? Okay, so what do we do with this? Well, a mail merge is when you have to send a document or a, a message or information to a whole lot of people in a database or a list in one go. So instead of you having to type out everyone's name and surname and send it uh, individual emails or individual letters or SMSs or WhatsApps or whatever, we can actually do this all in one go using a mail merge. So let me show you what I mean. Here we have a letter that's going to go out to everyone that has registered to take place in this Celebrity Dash Marathon. And you can see here, I've got hello there, name, surname. So those are placeholders for now. Those are just placeholders because I'm going to be putting some fields in there. Okay, like not uh, fields like, you know, like, go no, just a field as in a placeholder for a data. And it says this letter is to confirm your blah, blah, blah. Your vest number has been registered as. And there's another placeholder there that's going to be there for vest number as well. And then the rest is just some controversy there, the cash dash committee. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to establish, right, where is the data? Where's the list of people that we're going to get all the names from? So let me show you what I've got. So I'm going to open up my Excel document here. And here I've got just 10 people. Okay, I'm just keeping it nice and simple. All right, so I've got 10 people here. And these are just 10 people that have randomly signed up to do this celebrity dash cash. So I have a name, a surname, a vest number, and an email for each of these people. So I'm going to close my list. I don't need that open anymore. And here we start with mailings. So we click on mailings. That's the step number one, mailings. Then we're going to go to select recipients. Now, the way I'm teaching you to do this now is like the shortened, condensed, quicker version. All right, if you do it like this, you can't go wrong. Okay, there are like another three other ways to do this, or at least two other ways that I know of. I mean, there might be another one, I don't know. Select recipients and we're gonna we're not gonna type out a new list like that's insane because we already have a list So we're gonna use an existing list. So I click use an existing list I then have to go and scroll and find this list now. I've practiced this. Oh, I was there so fast runners.xlsx that that document that I showed you earlier that Excel worksheet workbook that was called runners That's the information. There's a little preview there Cool, I'm going to click open. Uh, right, there is only one worksheet in this workbook, so that's the one I'm going to select. And you'll see that the first row of data contains column headers. So that is correct, because I did have the headers at the top of the row. So I click OK. Great, so now you're thinking like, well, nothing's happened. Actually, something has happened, all right? Have a look now. I've got a couple of things here that are now active in my write and insert fields group. Okay, I'm still in mailings write and insert fields and I've got mail merge and if I click on this insert mail merge field I've got the the fields that I created in my Excel workbook there it is name surname vest number and email so let's use those let's go down a little bit here hello there name surname so I'm going to take out name surname because that's just pointless having that there and I'm going to put in a field for name and a space, obviously, because there's a space between name and surname and a field for surname. So now I have fields. Now, how do I know they're fields? Well, they've got the chevron brackets, like that. But also, if I click on this, it goes. It, it has this, like, gray background to it. Okay, so I can actually see that it's a field. I can even right-click on it, and you'll see it says edit field, update field, toggle field codes. Right. So... Uh, go down to vest number. Okay, I'm going to take that away as well. Go to insert merge field vest number. Great. So that's the first part of our mail merge. We selected a list of recipients and we then inserted our fields. Now it's time to preview the results. Before I actually do the merge, 
I'm going to just click on preview to see that it's actually correct that it is got it's putting in the data that I wanted to put in so I click on preview results hello there Kanye Vest you see what I did there I know and it's got the name the surname and the vest number is there let's go to the next one Billy eyelash okay yeah sorry I tried Katie Perry at <laughs> Luke never comes I hope you like these okay I made them up I promise now that's the preview I can see you know what great it's working it's beautiful so I take off the preview I don't want to get confused thinking I have done it when I haven't and if I want to check for errors I can click on check for errors let's just see if there are any errors there complete the merge put it okay I, I'm not going to run any checks now I know it's gonna work because I practiced this like 20 times okay now not 20 I promise now it's time to complete the mail merge here we go so we click on finish and merge do I want to a edit individual documents B print the documents out like print and put them in letters uh, letters envelopes and post them or C send email messages instead well I'm gonna go with edit the individual documents first so I can show you what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna click on edit individual documents and I've got merge records all the current record or from this record to that record well there's only 10 of them so I'm gonna do all of them click OK done now although you've it's popped up now you must realize that it's actually opened up a new word document called letters one if I just move that out of the way you'll see there's the original document I'm just gonna take this right out of the way that's the original one there that we were working on okay there are the fields they're still there still they're all good all good here is the now merged document let's have a look you can see I've got 10 pages here all right there's the first person Kanye West <laughs> then we have Billy eyelash and of course the rest of them there as well so we can see that this is the completed mail merge in terms of the editing of individual documents I can now print this out or do whatever I want that's the one option we have I'm gonna close this I'm not gonna save that the second option have a look here finish and merge was print documents and that just goes straight through to the printer and prints them out one page at a time with all the merge information done there's also very cool a send email messages okay which is probably what we would do more of these days and that would send out this document with all the information to each person in an email watch what happens when I click send email messages I click send email messages to and because they have that email field is picked it up there there it is there to email that's the email address that I need subject line your entry details mail format just don't worry about it HTML is fine all records click OK and I'm not gonna click OK now because it's going to now send that to all these people and some of them might actually be real addresses I hope not <laughs> but if they are they're like what I don't remember signing up for this okay so there you go <laughs> that is a basic mail merge guys follow those steps use open up your document create your document with the placeholders select your recipients use an existing list then go and insert the fields then go and finish the merge you can do a preview if you want to or you can finish the merge right away okay so that's a basic mail merge I'm gonna show you another example of a mail merge using the wizard in the next video